Tyler was just a wonderful young man, very easygoing young child, fun, funny, just a blessing to have in our life, in the life of his friends and family, and we miss him every day. Uh, Tyler was interested in football from a young age. He played from 1997 to 2002 with Pop Warner here in Rancho Bernardo. Those were Tyler's best memories growing up as a young football player. His teammates um, were his brothers. Yeah! I think a young person has to uh, love what they're doing in order to do two-a-days and gassers and all that it entails to be a football player. To be part of what was a Raptor family um, for our little team and those were good and long sustained friendships. Tyler read uh, three grade levels higher at each step of the way through school, and he would tutor math to um, fifth graders, and in high school would tutor um, upperclassmen in math as well. Tyler, at the end of high school, was offered a $40,000 scholarship for academics at UCSD. At the end of um, senior year, Tyler, um, who had always been a happy, um, just outgoing young man um, had started to uh, have depression. He had turned 25 in February and April 3rd of that year. He was gone. It was just his um, depression and despair it wasn't until Tyler um, passed and uh, took his life that the thought to have his brain examined for a CTE occurred in terms of a young man's life who had promise and all the potential, had a whole life ahead of him. And so to know um, from a scientific point of view, if there was something that doctors couldn't see and they couldn't tell or diagnose because they couldn't see the inside of the brain and the cells from a um, cellular level, what was going on. It was an avenue that we should pursue um, just to know, to actually have an answer for what was an unknown. It is uh, our opportunity for myself and Kimberly Archie, a mom who also lost her son with CTE, uh, to have uh, justice on behalf of our sons. Our goal is to win. We think we were wronged. We've lost our sons to CTE. That is probable that they received this disease, this degenerative brain disease, while playing Pop Warner football. I would like to see, and hopefully we are successful in having changes to the game to make it safer for young boys to play and not be injured, to have the benefits of um, camaraderie, teamwork, discipline, the good things. We just want to make sure that kids and parents are educated about these risks and I think that Kimberly is doing a great job with that. It, it is a concern I think everybody should be aware of it and know exactly what the challenges are. I think that um, the league youth sports can do more to make the game safer. Uh, and I know that they're looking really hard at doing what they can to make the game safer. Um, guys my age now are starting to have um, issues like dementia. We, we hear more stories of CTE. Um, guys are taking their lives and we, when, once the, we get their brains and look at them, there's a lot of evident, evidence that they have CTE. I think it made everybody in San Diego take notice that this is someone that we all um, respected and enjoyed watching 
as a player, um, as a person who had positive impact on his community. I mean, Tyler has a signed autograph football from Junior Seau. You know, it was meaningful for our family. And so um, to think now that Tyler shares that with Junior is just really, um, it's just a profound and it's heart-wrenching uh, story for our family and the Sayhouse family.